All right, let's have a look at this question. I find it quite interesting because all of us knows like uh, differentiate ln x, we will get one over x. But if you want to prove it slow, so let's see what we can do here. So the first idea is um, I try to make the whole thing become dy dx. So what I want to do is I will let y equals to the ln x so that I have dy dx, all right? So I will just let y equals to ln x. All right, and then we know ln basically means what? Ln basically is log base e, isn't it? So if I move the ln to the other side, I actually get exponent y equals to x, isn't it? All right, now what I want to do is um, I add d dx for both sides. Let's mean I differentiate here and I differentiate here as well. All right, then you can see what happened uh, is dx over dx, we get one. Okay, basically mean, or you, or you can just imagine like you differentiate x, you get one, all right? And then right now we differentiate exponent y. If you learn about implicit differentiation, you know exponent remain the same, then this is ey. But because this is y, this is not x, so you should add a dy dx here. Okay, right now we want to find dy dx. So our dy dx is one over exponent y. But then we want in terms of x, we don't want in terms of y. So we will need to know what is our y. Our y basically is ln x, isn't it? So what I will do here is, I will change it become one over exponent uh, ln x. All right, for e ln x, you should, you should know the whole thing here is actually equals to the x. All right, because example, if today I want to find about e ln two, Example, if you type in a calculator, calculator will tell you it's two. But if you want me to prove you, it's like, okay, let's say I let the whole thing equals to uh, y. Okay, I want to find a y or x, it doesn't matter. This y and this y is not the same y, all right? This is just another example I just show you. So e move to the other side will give us ln, isn't it? So therefore, e move to the other side will give us ln. So the ln two will bring down, isn't it? This is a basic log rule, then cancel the ln for both sides, y is equal to two. So normally I remember like whenever you see exponent power of ln, I just cancel it, I will just get this one. So like e ln x will give me x. e ln nine will give me nine. Or like e ln k will just give me k. All right, this, this is just um, some basic about log. All right, so anyways, then I get one over x, isn't it? Then I get proven. All right, it is quite simple it's as long as you know how to do. Anyways, I hope this super short video actually do help you to understand better about Lonex. Bye-bye.